What's up guys, welcome back to the MSR Workshop. So today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of this new Bamboo Labs A1 3D printer combo kit. I think you'll like this one, so stick around. So the unboxing that we're gonna be doing today is on this Bamboo Labs A1 combo kit. Now I'm not unfamiliar with 3D printers. In fact, I've owned a couple. I just got rid of an Ender 5S. Uh, Pro and then I also had an AnyCubic Cobra and from everything that I have read and seen in person and first-hand experience the Bamboo Labs printers are a huge upgrade. Now I've never used Bamboo Labs specifically but I am very excited to get going with this. So you're going to come along with me on this journey. We're going to unbox this, see what comes inside because I have no idea and we're going to run through the setup just as if you were a beginner as well. So let's get that done right now. So there's two options when you buy this printer online from the Bamboo Labs website. There is the A1 and then the A1 Combo. The difference between the two is the A1 Combo actually comes with the multi-filament extruder. So I believe it'll hold four different rolls of filament and you can actually have it automatically change colors during the print. It is obviously a little bit more money, but when you buy the combo together, I think you do save quite a bit of money. And if you've never purchased anything from Bamboo Labs 4 and you've never subscribed to them, then the first time you do that, you actually will get a small discount um, when you submit your email address to them. So this was something that I purchased with my own money. It was not something that Bamboo Labs sent to me. So I am not being compensated in any ways monetarily. This review is going to be purely my own opinions. But starting off with, you have these really cool, I believe these are filament holders in what looks to be some kind of recycled or whatever styrofoam because it's not your typical styrofoam that flakes off but here's a close-up shot of that kind of see what's in there we'll go ahead and get that set aside right on top you have a quick start guide and obviously a whole sheet of stickers and I like my stickers then right away you have your build plate area now it does not say what the dimensions are on the build plate but grabbing a tape measure that's 10 um, just a hair over 10 so about 10 and a quarter inches both directions maybe just a little bit less so good size volume build plate it's not the biggest one out there so if you're doing huge prints that might be something to consider but a bigger build plate generally means a higher price when you're getting that printer so this is the AMS uh, multi-filament extruder holder this all kind of lifts out in one piece with really cool styrofoam and then these are zip tied on which I'm not sure why but that's okay we'll figure that out and then I would assume that those little holders that I showed you would clip on here and they are color coded That looks to be a filament extruder part. Okay, we'll have to get more into that in here in a minute. And then you've got the printer body down here uh, itself. So, got some little bit of weight to it. This is the print head. 
and it appears like you will have to bolt this on but it feels very solid just lifting it out of the box nice touches they've got some USB-C connections instead of the older type USB so that's a nice touch so yeah little bag of test filament on the bottom We have got our filament feed lines. And let's see if we can lift this guy out. May have to set this down the floor. And in the back of the styrofoam box, you've got some stuff there, so you don't want to lose that. As well as in here. And there is a note written on this that says, don't forget your power cord, which is attached in there. I think this is the filament trimmer for when it's trimming between different lines. That's just a guess. Just from watching the video. And your power cord. All right, and then you have a little bag of goodies. You've got some screws in there. Uh, looks like you've got some lubricant, um, a little nozzle. A declogger tool, some Allen keys, all that fun stuff in the box. Oh, there's another box and some other mystery parts that we're going to have to look at the instructions and see what they go to. And we have a mini piano. So we have the innards to a actual little piano winding. So I guess this would be for your first print. You can make a piano. Okay, we'll set that aside and do something with that later. So this is going to be your bottom half. Um, I'm assuming we have to figure out where we are bolting everything to. But let's not just guess. Let's grab our quick start guide. And this is going to tell us where to put what. So I'm going to pause this and put some of this together. And then I'll run through a few things once I get this put together. But it starts within one, two, three. There's pictures. So it should be very, very simple. But if I run into anything, I will make sure to tell you guys if I ran into anything or... I have any problems so let's all right guys so as we're putting this together i'm trying to figure this out so this guy kind of twists and fit in here and sets in a slot on the bottom pay attention that there is one cord on the bottom that you'll plug in there's only one slot that it'll plug into once you've done that this little protective cover um, right underneath the bed comes off and you would attach the screws from the top and it appears that all of these little green circled areas are where you would attach things to. Next, tapping the machine over, being careful not to let it rest flat um, because there is the multi-filament extruder. You've got this big long guy here, which would be plugging into these. They are going to be one size fits one thing only. This USB-C will plug in right here. And then these two clips actually will clip on either side here. So I would recommend probably clipping things in first. Um, and they are color coded. Helps if I plug it in the right spot. Yellow to yellow, green to green, and then the big one there. So kind of tuck that in there before you plug it in. Get that plugged in. 
put that guy in right there. I'm going to snug my USB-C in there first. There we go. And then just push down. And then this guy right here is to thread your cable through and keep that on the bottom nice and flat. Once that is in the slot, you can lock that closed and then kind of tuck that little cord underneath in there. And then you have one little screw here to screw it down to the base of your machine. Next, looking at the side with the print head on it, you have got this guy. This is your filament trimmer. So this will actually slide in and that should just fit in there like that with the flat end facing the outside. Then put your little screw in there and they are all Loctited. And just snug that down. Right, guys, so looking next at the instructions, we've got our printer put together. Um, that actually wasn't as difficult as I thought. We are going to put our multi filament extruder and so just clipping all of these zip ties that they've got in here for packaging um, you've got your words so I would assume that they're facing up and that just sets right in there and then there are screws that line up on the side right here Next, we are going to do these. These are color-coded, so green to green, yellow to yellow, and they just push right on. Next, you'll have a extruder nozzle for each one, or I say extruder nozzle, a line. So you would place this area here closest to the machine so there's two short two long short ones go to the closest side and then the long ones just press fit in to the long side all right guys so i've got it in its potential permanent home here in the corner. I've got it on a table. I've got all of the filament loaded up on each one of the spools. I'm not necessarily going to use all of these particular colors right away, but I am just trying to weight the whole thing down when it does its initial check to have as most weight on the table as possible, and that will help with the calibration and any vibration that the machine picks up. So if it's really light, it may vibrate more, and you may get a different calibration setting as you would if you had, say, more weight on the table. So let's go ahead and flip this on and start this up for the first time. So this is the first thing you'll see on your startup screen in English, North America. And we'll hit select Wi-Fi. And I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi here. All right, next, once I'm connected to Wi-Fi, it's going to ask you this. Now, I already currently have this set up on my phone. So once you've scanned the QR code after you've downloaded everything, you'll scan that QR code again when it says add device and you'll bind your printer to your phone. So you can actually send prints from your phone or you can also use the USB card right here. Now, once that is done, it'll come up with this screen and you can select which ones you want to turn on. And then it's going to do the auto bid calibration and we are homing all the axes. And so this could take a while. So we're gonna let this do this thing. It could take oh, about seven minutes, which you probably don't wanna watch, and we'll be right back. <laughs>
I've seen videos of it, but you don't really get to appreciate how fast this thing can print in real life. Um, I'm guessing somewhere like 14 minutes, maybe. Um, and here is the Benchy that it completed in crazy fast time. This is just some generic Amolin PLA that I had laying around. It's not been sitting in a dryer. Um, it's probably a little old and the print quality on this thing is really, really good. Really impressive. All right, guys, that's it for this video. As you can see behind me, I've got this printer printing and I have non-stop printed on this thing since I put this thing together and it has worked flawless every print. I have printed this little container here for all my waste. I have been working on this AMS enclosure. Um, everything has gone together perfect. I've been nothing but happy with this printer. If you guys are interested in getting one of these printers or looking into 3D printing, I highly, highly recommend looking at Bamboo Labs before looking at anything else. Yes, they may be a little bit more than some of the cheaper options on the market, but you will have so much less frustration and it will work so much better. Just trust me and get one of these things. You will love it and it will really take your printing to the next level. If you guys like content like this or want to see more stuff like this, just drop a comment in the section below and subscribe and like for all the videos that I drop. Thanks again, guys.